all right today i'm back with another video and today i have some interesting news and the first one is quite important so the indian variant is here in dhaka and two people were found they got here from india no surprise there but what they didn't mention is that how did they get it how did they come in dhaka is it through plane or is it through car because if it's through car then they're supposed to be quarantined in jashore but what but you know they didn't mention the details so here's to hope that you know we'll know or how did they brought the virus in to dhaka on our next news you know the rich country is almost done with the vaccination right the priority vaccination so what who is suggesting is that Swe uh, sweden and france donate their vaccines to poorer countries the best example i can think of is some african countries and mainly india because that's where the biggest crisis is going on so hopefully that you know that they've already started it and and there can be some examples for other rich countries mainly the usa they definitely should donate to india so here's to hope okay on our next news scientists are saying that pfizer vaccine should be extended from 3 weeks to 12 weeks because it will be 3.5 times more beneficial like the the immune system would be 3.5 times more powerful right if they give it 12 weeks apart here's my take on it okay i can only say from what example i i have seen in my country okay so astrazeneca you guys know that two months apart right first dose and second dose and many of us in bangladesh has died from giving the first dose because the second dose time did not come so if pfizer vaccine is like 12 weeks apart which is even more than 2 months then i can only imagine that how many people would just die from giving first dose is just an example i saw here and i'm just saying that hopefully that doesn't happen on our next news Bangladesh has extended lockdown till May 23rd. I think it is a wise decision. But this current lockdown that we are seeing right now is really not what you could call a lockdown. So hopefully this up upcoming lockdown is a proper lockdown provided that we see traffic movements restricted. So hopefully you know we see a complete and you know proper full lockdown you know here's to hope okay our next news is a very interesting one zerong a chinese robot car has landed on mars successfully now china is the second country that has landed on mars the previous one was the usa Round of applause for China. Round of applause. They did a fantastic job. So hopefully one of these days anyone can go to Mars. Hopefully. When the other countries have landed on Mars, they failed. So it is great to see China successfully land on Mars. There is a storm going on and our next news is on a tornado so let's see what they have said so you guys see what's outside right so it is a cyclone that's going on here it is going to hit on india mainly the south india all the way till mumbai but who knows if it will come here right it all it's already looking bad so maybe it will maybe it won't Hopefully it doesn't obviously but what is it looking like from outside it potentially could on our last news which is actually a story you guys know about bonsai tree right well this story is about a person 
whose mother just recently passed away. Now he's going to be taking care of his mother's bonsai tree. And the best part about this part is that when this person was born, his mother planted the bonsai tree. So now he's 51 years old. The bonsai tree is 51 years old. How amazing is that? So when you have kids, you can tell them to inherit the bonsai tree for them in their place. And I hope you like this video and until the next time, see ya!